person who is used to being alone is a very dangerous person. You see, I understand when people say that they can't be on their own or they are not used to being on their own or they need company with people and they can't really get along with being by themselves for a long period of time. I understand where they're coming from. But at the same time, if you can't get used to being alone at some point, if you can't know how it is to actually be by yourself, to actually understand, to actually love the company that you have by yourself, to actually enjoy your own company, that's a very dangerous thing. You know that you know that quote where they say a person who is used to being alone, a person who gets up from their own, you know, trials and errors, a person who gets up from the bottom by themselves, who goes through all these difficult things by themselves is a very dangerous person. Why? Because that person went through hell and back. That person went through everything by themselves and they were able to come out on top. So imagine what would happen if they were with people. They would always come out on top, guaranteed. If they could come out on top by themselves, they can come out on top with other people. So being alone is not a bad thing. At some point, everyone experiences being alone. You see, when you're not used to being alone, when you're not okay with being alone, what would happen when you're not with someone? What would happen when you're not with company? What would happen when you're not sitting in the lunch table with a lot of people? What would happen when you're not living with people in your apartment? What would happen when you're in those instances where you have to eat by yourself, where you have to live by yourself? You wouldn't be able to overcome it. Why? Because you're not used to being alone. You're not okay with being alone. And that's a bad thing at some point, at, at a certain extent, it's a bad thing. Because I understand human nature, we all desire company with people, especially women and men. Men desire company with a woman as much as women desire company with men. As much as you guys want to say that you don't, etc., etc., deep down, human nature-wise, your nature, you do desire it. We all desire it. And so... When it comes to being alone, it's not a bad thing because there's so many things that you could do while you're alone in this period of time, especially for the people out there who are going through a breakup or have recently broken up, got their heart broken or are living on their apartment on their own and you're trying to get used to being alone or you're someone who's never been alone and you're about to come to a point where you are going to be alone. You're going to find yourself in a situation where you are going to be alone. There are many things that you could do while you're alone that could, you could actually benefit from. You see, being alone doesn't have to be all this sad and depressive, you know, scenarios. It doesn't have to be this thing where you have to always be sad because you're not with someone, you're not talking to someone, etc., etc. It doesn't have to be like that. When you're alone, there are some things that you could do to actually better yourself, to actually become a better person. Because when you're alone, when you're by yourself, when you're with your own company, you're with your own thoughts. And so you're with your own thoughts and you're thinking about what are you going to do next? What's going on? Because you're by yourself. You don't have anything or anyone to distract you with, to distract yourself from. So when you're by yourself, you can do so many things like take care of yourself. You can actually start loving yourself more, start doing more self-care. Being alone can cause this thing where you start focusing on yourself. You actually start focusing on yourself. You actually start looking at yourself in the mirror and say, it's time to start focusing on myself. It's time to start bettering myself. It's time to start healing my traumas. It's time to start admiring myself. You start focusing on yourself when you're alone. When you're alone, you start focusing on yourself and you start taking the opportunity, you start taking advantage of the time that you have alone. So when you are with someone, when you are in company with someone, you're a whole other different person. You're a better person. When you enter a new relationship, you are better to give that person the love that that person deserves, that that person needs, that that person is looking for. Because when you're not your best self and you enter a relationship, you are not gonna give that person what that person needs. But when you are your best self, when you are improving yourself daily, even 1%, even 0.01%, when you are doing the work, when you are alone, and you come in terms with people now, you start having conversations with people, you start having friends, you start having a relationship you become a better version so you have this new aura you have this new energy to give which is positive you know there's this quote from tom hardy that i'm pretty sure everyone has heard of and it goes like this being alone for a while is dangerous it's addicting once you see how peaceful it is you don't want to deal with people no more you see when you start focusing on yourself when you start actually having self-care when you're enjoying this time on your own when you have this time by yourself 
we actually take this time, take this opportunity to actually better yourself, it becomes addicting. You start seeing the improvements within you. You start seeing the improvements externally. You start looking at yourself in the mirror and say, that I'm a whole different person. You start growing stronger mentally because you already know what it's like to go at things alone. You already know what it's like to live on your own. You already know what it's like to be on your own. You already know what it's like to enjoy your own company. When you get to that point where you enjoy your own company, you're gonna get so addicted to it that it becomes dangerous. You don't want to deal with people as much anymore. You don't want to deal with drama anymore. You don't want to, you have boundaries now. You have boundaries that you are not willing to break for other people because you know how peace feels like now. When you're alone, you become more independent. You start not depending on others. You start depending on yourself. You are the one that you depend on. Your happiness depends on you. When you start having this alone time, you actually start admiring this alone time. You actually start taking advantage of the alone time because at some point, you're not gonna be alone anymore. At some point, you're gonna get in a relationship. At some point, you're gonna have friends, a new group of friends, better friends that will actually help you. At some point, you'll be around company. And by this time, you already know what it's like to be alone to the point that if your friends leave or you don't, or you break a bond with people and they're not no longer in your life, you're okay with it. Why? Because you already know what being alone feels like and you know how peaceful it is already. So it's not really a big deal for you because being alone is not something that's gonna hurt you because you know you could use the opportunity to actually better yourself more. Being alone makes you a mentally stronger individual because when you are alone, you know that you don't depend on no one. You know that you don't depend on, if you're bored, you won't call someone or you won't invite someone over or you won't go to a certain place to not be bored. Because at that point, if you do that, you are depending on other people of your emotions. If that point when you're alone and you actually know how to take advantage of being alone, you start doing things on your own to not be bored. You start doing things with yourself to not be bored. You start doing things with yourself to make yourself more happy, to better yourself. So when you're alone, it becomes dangerous because you start knowing how peace feels like. You start knowing what actually self-care is. You start knowing what self-improvement is, what self-development is, what actually developing yourself as a, as a person. You know all these things once you are alone. You see a lot of people when they start their self-improvement journey or they start their or they start their self-development journey where they start developing themselves, when they start improving themselves, most of the times, if not all the times, it starts when they go through a point in their life where they are alone, where they are at that point where they are alone and they no longer have anyone to depend on at that point. So they start depending on themselves and they start working on themselves. Whether that's a heartbreak or they lose bonds with friends, whether it's they live on their own in their apartment and they're now looking at life on their own and they're trying to figure out how it is to live on, on, their, on their own. That's when your self-development and self-improvement comes from most of the times when you are in these certain periods of your life where you find yourself alone. So being alone is not a bad thing. Being alone is not something that has to be depressive. It's not something that has to be sad. It's not something that you have to really hate. Being alone can be this a big opportunity to actually start bettering yourself, to start improving yourself, to start reading more books, to start working out on your own, to start have, eating healthier, to start having those self-care activities on your own, to start enjoying your own company, to start looking at yourself in the mirror every single day and see that 0.01% improvement every single day. Because believe it or not, you might think 1% improvement every day is nothing, but what happens in 365 days later? You already made 365% more improvement 365 days later you are 365 percent more better you have improved over a course of a year so those little habits that you think are not making a difference those little changes that you think make no difference that you know is going to better yourself it will make a difference later on so if you're alone do not be sad do not be depressive do not think this is the worst thing ever. It may feel like that at that moment, especially if you're someone who's used to being with company, especially if you're someone who was used to being with that certain person. Do not dwell on it too much. Yes, it hurts at the moment, but once you actually start seeing how being alone can help you, which is bettering yourself, becoming a better version of yourself every single day, actually working on yourself to become a better person. When you start doing these things, when you start enjoying your own company, when you start seeing the peace that being alone can have, you actually start enjoying being by yourself. Now, I'm not saying that you have to be like that forever because like I said, human nature, at some point, we all desire company with someone. But what I'm saying is that if you're alone right now, if you find yourself in that position where you are alone, do not feel sad. Instead, work on yourself, improve yourself. Use this time to actually focus on loving yourself or actually improving yourself. Focus on yourself during this period of time because it's not gonna last forever. 
at some point you're gonna find that new person you're gonna find that new group of friends that are better friends that are gonna better you and then when you get to that point you're gonna become a much better person and you're not gonna be dependent on their company to be happy